Yo, it's Trent. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all of that, right? We got dumpster diving for vapes and a little humiliating to talk about, right? Because that's, you got to be at a pretty low point to be dumpster diving at all. But the dumpster dive for vapes is fucking something else, right? But let's talk about that. So, and this happened for, we, me and my friend, we did this a couple times throughout a couple years. Like we didn't, we didn't stop. Like we'd get bored and we'd be like, shit, let's go look for vapes, right? So first let's talk about how the idea even came up, right? One day we're sitting either in my car or my friend's car, probably my friend's car at the time because uh, this is my second car and it might have been after I totaled the first one. So let me fix this so I can see. Um, so anyways, fucking we're sitting in my friend's car and we had just gotten poshes or some vape, some nicotine device, right? And we're looking at the wrapper and I go, yo, did you know there's expiration dates? And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, look, there's expiration dates. And we're looking at the we're looking at the vapes and there are expiration dates. And we're like, that's fucking weird. So we start Googling it. We're like, can vapes expire? You know what I mean? Like, can they go bad? And it said they could, right? So then if vapes can expire, places got to throw them away when they expire. You know what I'm saying? That that clicked together in our brain pretty quick. Like, hey, expiration date, they expire. That means they get thrown away. So we're thinking like, hey, man. Let's go around to vape shops and gas stations and all the places that have that sell poshes and nicotine devices. And let's see if um, if there's any in the garbage, right? Like maybe they throw away a whole case of them because they're expired. So we start looking. I remember the first place we ever went was like 15 minutes away. And it was this place right next to a bar. So we also looked in the bar in case there was alcohol bottles, which there wasn't. But... We started looking for the vapes and it was the first time we ever went like looking, right? And we didn't actually go into the dumpsters very often because that's fucking nasty and it smells like shit. Like just being around one can almost make you throw up, right? So we just looked for these big plastic bags and then we'd see if we could like see through them, you know, to see if there's any vapes. And a couple times, you know, there were things. So one of the times we found stuff was the local, the local BP gas station, right? That's the, uh... That's a guy that kind of just doesn't care, right? Like, he's he's always been cool with us, right? So at night, we always thought, hey, you know, let's go to the dumpster and see if he threw any shit away, right? And there was a camera that pointed right at the dumpster, but we always just assumed that, like, if the guy ever did look at the tape, he'd see us and be like, oh, who cares? They're just going through garbage anyways, right? We didn't think he'd ever get us in trouble. So... We go there at night one time, and I'm looking on the left side. My friend's looking on the right side, right? I'm leaning. Like, I got my stomach on the uh, opening part. You know what I mean? I'm leaning in, looking, 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 and I see a case, right? Through the through the wrapper, I see posh. I'm like, no way. Or through the garbage bag, I see a posh thing. I'm like, no way, no way. So I rip it open, right? I'm looking. It's just an empty thing. Like, there's no vapes in it. It's just an empty container, right? I'm like, god damn it. Maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds later, my friend goes, yo, yo. And he pulls out a thing. He had vapes in there. Like there were actual vapes. And it was that that was one of the greatest feelings of my life. And I know you're going to say, what the fuck? How could that be one of the greatest feelings of your life? But it really was, dude. Like we think about it. We're like 16, 17, probably not even. We're like 16. Like we're just being able to drive. You know what I mean? And it's not too often that we can just buy nicotine and fucking, um, we went in there and yeah, there was just nicotine sitting in there. So even though it's expired or gross or whatever you want to call it, like it came out of the, it's a dumpster vape. Like we still took it and hit it. You know what I mean? It was still wrapped up. So it's not like it tasted like fucking dumpster. But I remember that, uh, if you took out the case, right? So let's just say there, there was two vapes in there. So let's just say, you know, just like it was. There's two vapes, right? If you smell the outside of them, they smell terrible. But if you hit it, it tastes fine. So it's like, what are you even going to do about that, man? Um, but there was a time we got caught. And it was about, I'm trying to think. We had to drive pretty far for this one. I don't think we just went looking for vapes. I think this time we were like going to a store. Or we might have been going to a car meet, actually. That seems more realistic for the time and like what we were doing when we were bored. So I'm guessing we went to a car meet or went somewhere and we went to a town about 20 minutes away and we see a vape shop, right? And we have the idea, hey, let's look in the dumpster, right? Like no one's here anyways. So we start looking, right? And looking, looking, looking. 
as we're looking, and I'm doing the same thing as I was for the last place, right? Like it's cut off at my stomach. I'm leaning in, looking around. And I swore that time I actually heard a rat running around. But So I was like, fuck that, right? I pushed myself out of the garbage can. I turn around, bright lights, right? I'm like, God damn it, this is cops. How do you even explain this to the cops? Like we're looking for vapes in a dumpster, but it wasn't a cop. It was some dude in a pickup truck coming and dumping his garbage, which is, I'm pretty sure, illegal, but... We're fucking climbing in the garbage, so what are you even gonna say, right? It's just awkward. He's just looking at us like, what are you guys doing? And we're looking at him like, what are you doing? <laughs> and um, I'm trying to think if we found anything else. Like if we actually, cause there was the one time my friend found shit, but I'm trying to think if I ever found anything. I found stuff, but it wasn't vapes. I found like, uh, oh, the bagels. We threw bagels at each other, dude. I remember we did it with a couple people. We did it with like three or four of us in total dumpster diving, right? And we went in looking for vapes like we normally would or alcohol or white claws or whatever we could find, right? And what do I see? I see like old, like like maybe it was a 7-Eleven or something, but there's wrapped up bagels, right? Which really, and there's not a lot of homeless people around us. If there was, I would fucking leave it out or something. You know what I mean? I wouldn't just be a dick and grab them and stuff. So, um, and so anyway, sorry, I got rode back or rode past on his bike. So I was seeing if he was going to say hi or something. And I'm just talking, you know, I look crazy in here to anybody walking by just fucking talking to my car. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, um, we were with like three, four people. I find bagels, right? And I didn't like yell out, yo, there's bagels, there's bagels. I just grabbed them, right? So I rip open the side of it and I grab like three of them. And I won't say they're rock hard, but you can tell they're old and stale, right? I grab it like a frisbee or like I'm skipping a rock. That's how I grabbed it. I grabbed it like I was skipping a rock and I just flung it at my friend's leg and it hits him and he's like, what the fuck? And I start just rapid firing bagels across at my friend, right? He grabs one, he throws it back at me. We were having a little bagel war in the fucking parking lot, but it was like, Jesus Christ. But let me tell you a time, right? This is what made me stop dumpster diving for vapes, right? Just the idea, just the humiliation of actually doing the act of diving, not diving, but going into a dumpster to look for shit that's killing you, like, not great, right? Uh, that's humiliating enough. That should be enough to stop, but it wasn't for me or for us. So we go in looking, right? And I swore, I swore I see, like, another, uh, not vape cartridge, but, like, the box that holds the vapes that has, like, the little circles, you know, and they're standing in them, like, all the vapes. I swore I saw one of those at the bottom, right? So I'm like, shit, I got to go into the garbage and actually like rip this one open and go look. So I climb in and I put my left foot down and I put it on top of another garbage bag that looked like it had a lot of like paper towels and shit like that in it. So I'm like, okay, at least I'm not stepping on the straight like ground. There's probably like juice on the ground or fucking not juice, but you know what I mean? Like liquid. I don't want to stand on that. That's exactly what happened. I step on the garbage bag and once I put all my weight on it to like put my other foot in, my foot just went through the bag straight into like a puddle. And I don't know what could have been in that puddle. It could have been alcohol. It could have been juice. It could have been water. It could have been fucking like dumpster grease, juice, water, just all mixed into one. But my whole left foot went right in it, right? And I just remember having the most disgusted feeling on my face like or look on my face I was like oh god that's nasty and the grossest part about it dude was that it wasn't cold it was like warm liquid on my foot and I was like fuck that like I'm out I'm out and I thought maybe I stepped on something sharp like it was blood but no it was like dumpster liquid like on my fucking foot just hot liquid on my foot it was so gross dude it was so gross and I climbed out of there and I said I don't care if there's a million fucking vapes in the dumpster I'm never going in there again that's disgusting and I never did. I never did go back. I ended up just thinking to myself, honestly, just fucking, I'll just buy them. Like, what's what's the big deal? I'll spend 20 bucks. I don't care. I'm not going in a dumpster. But being a little kid and when I didn't have a bunch, or I'm not saying I have a bunch of money now, but when I didn't have like any money, you know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like a good idea. Like, hey, we'll just get free vapes. But once you realize there's rats and nasty shit in there and fucking dumpster liquid, like, fuck that's nasty and um ugh, just gross and I remember one time my friend I had to pull him by his legs to get out because he went too far in just shit like that it's like it can it could be gross and I guess it could be dangerous like you could go in there and get bit by like a fucking rabies rat or some shit like that'd be not good man but all right make sure you sub share like if you enjoyed that um I know it wasn't the fucking best story ever but it's something
Uh, we'll have stories tomorrow, gaming videos, and puppy videos. So check those out, and peace out.